There's something irresistibly alluring about the unknown. Throughout history, humankind has been captivated by what lies just beyond our reach. Whether it's the vastness of outer space or the mysteries hidden in the depths of the ocean. One creature, in particular, has sparked the imagination of sailors, storytellers, and scientists alike. The giant squid. For centuries, tales of a monstrous tentacled terror lurking beneath the waves haunted the minds of those brave enough to venture into the open sea. But what is the truth behind this elusive beast? Is the giant squid merely a misunderstood marine animal? Or could it be the source of legends like the fearsome kraken? Grab your courage and dive with us into a world where myth and reality intertwine. We'll explore terrifying real-life encounters, the scientific hunt for the truth, and how the giant squid continues to inspire awe today. Stick with us till the end. You won't want to miss the mysterious conclusion of one of the ocean's greatest enigmas. A monster in the making. Myths of the Kraken. For centuries before the age of GPS and satellite images, vast portions of the Earth's oceans were uncharted, giving rise to the belief that monsters roamed the deep. Among these creatures, none captured the imagination like the Kraken, a mythical beast said to dwell in the icy waters off Norway and Greenland. Described as a massive, tentacled creature capable of dragging entire ships under, the Kraken embodied the fear of the unknown and the dangers that lurked just below the surface. Ancient maps and sailor lore often warned of such beasts, with phrases like, Here be dragons, marking the ocean's uncharted territories with ominous caution. These tales, terrifying as they were, took on a life of their own in the imaginations of those who feared the seas. In retrospect, some of these stories may not have been entirely fictional. Many believe the Kraken legend was born from early sightings of the giant squid, a creature even today shrouded in mystery. Before modern science, no one knew what to make of the strange, tentacled carcasses that occasionally washed ashore, or the brief, terrifying glimpses sailors caught of enormous creatures in the water. The Kraken, as an idea, offered an explanation. A terrifying one, perhaps, but an explanation nonetheless. The Daedalus incident, a sea serpent or something else. The debate over whether sea monsters existed reached a fever pitch in the 19th century, thanks in large part to a startling encounter by the crew of HMS Daedalus. On August 6th, 1848, as the ship sailed between the Cape of Good Hope and the island of Saint, Helena, Captain Peter McCuhai, and his crew witnessed something extraordinary, a gigantic, snake-like creature swimming just beneath the surface of the water. Described as being between 60 and 100 feet long, the creature passed close to the ship, its dark, sinuous body slipping through the waves with an alarming ease. The sailors even claimed to have seen a massive maw filled with jagged teeth. The encounter caused an immediate sensation, with British newspapers such as The Times publishing detailed reports of the sighting just two months later. Was this creature a true sea serpent, the likes of which had populated sailor legends for centuries? Opinions varied wildly. Some speculated that the creature was a plesiosaur, an ancient marine reptile thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago. Others suggested it could have been an oversized eel or even a snake that had somehow taken to the ocean. But not everyone believed the sailors had seen anything so extraordinary. Richard Owen, a prominent British anatomist, claimed the crew of the Daedalus had been deceived by a large seal. He dismissed the idea of a sea monster, arguing that the creature's size and shape had simply been exaggerated in the heat of the moment. Owen's explanation might have satisfied some skeptics, but Captain McCue was not among them. He fired back, rejecting the notion that he or his men had been mistaken. The creature they had seen, he insisted, was no seal or snake. It was something much larger and far more terrifying. At the time, McCue could not have known it, but his description of the mysterious beast shared remarkable similarities with something very real, something lurking deep in the ocean. The giant squid. Science catches up. The discovery of Architeuthis. For centuries, tales of sea monsters had been confined to the realm of myth. But in 1857, Danish zoologist Japetus Steenstrup turned the tide. By examining reports of tentacled creatures washing ashore in Europe and analyzing a massive squid beak from a recently stranded specimen, 
Steenstrup made a groundbreaking revelation. The giant squid, he argued, was no mere figment of the imagination. He named the species Architeuthis dux, officially bringing the giant squid out of myth and into the realm of science. Smaller squid species like Loligo were known, but the idea that a squid could grow to such colossal proportions seemed incredible. Nevertheless, the beak Steenstrup studied left little doubt. These animals were not only real, but enormous. Body, leaving them with only part of the massive creature. Despite the incomplete specimen, it was clear that they had stumbled upon something far larger than any known squid species. These discoveries helped bridge the gap between myth and reality, but the giant squid was far from being fully understood. Encounters on the rise, a struggle for proof. Following Steenstrup's scientific validation of the giant squid, more sightings and physical encounters emerged, particularly off the coasts of North America. In 1871, a giant squid was discovered by sailors aboard the B.D. Haskins, near the Grand Banks, adding another confirmed sighting to the growing list of encounters with this elusive creature. In a desperate struggle, the squid reportedly tried to drag the fisherman's boat under, wrapping its tentacles around the vessel in an attempt to capsize it. Fortunately for the fishermen, quick thinking and a hatchet allowed them to cut off several of the squid's tentacles, forcing the creature to retreat into the depths. The fisherman's prize from the battle was a 19-foot-long tentacle, which they later gave to Reverend Moses Harvey. Harvey's photograph of the squid helped bring the creature into public awareness, and the giant squid's monstrous reputation only grew. Monsters of Fiction the giant squid in popular culture. Even as the giant squid became recognized by scientists, its terrifying image continued to thrive in the public imagination. In 1869, Jules Verne cemented the giant squid's place in popular culture with his novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, where Captain Nemo and his crew famously battle a giant squid in the deep. The squid's villainous image continued into the 20th and 21st centuries, in Peter Benchley's 1991 novel, Beast, a giant squid takes center stage as the terrifying antagonist, wreaking havoc on human life in a way reminiscent of the shark in his earlier novel, Jaws. And of course, the 2006 film, Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Man's Chest brought the Kraken legend to life once again, casting the giant squid as a ship-crushing beast straight out of myth. While these portrayals leaned heavily into the squid's monstrous side, the reality of the giant squid is perhaps even more fascinating than fiction. A living enigma, modern discoveries and new mysteries. Despite the giant squid's long-standing reputation, much of its life in the deep sea remains a mystery. For decades, almost all knowledge of the giant squid came from dead or stranded specimens, with very little known about its behavior in the wild. That changed in 2005 when Japanese marine biologists Tsunemi Kubodera and Kyoichi Mori captured the first ever live photographs of a giant squid in its natural habitat. The following year, they filmed a live giant squid for the first time as it was hauled to the surface. These images provided a rare glimpse of the creature in action. Rather than a sluggish drifter, the giant squid appeared to be an active predator using its long feeding tentacles to snatch prey with incredible speed. This revelation gave scientists a new understanding of the giant squid as a powerful hunter, but it also raised new questions. How many species of giant squid are there? What are their mating habits? How do they navigate their dark, deep sea environment? Despite the advancements in studying the giant squid, much about its life remains unknown. Most of what we know comes from dead specimens or the beaks of squid found in the stomachs of sperm whales, which are the squid's primary predators. In addition to its role as a predator, the giant squid is also becoming an important subject of study for marine biologists concerned with climate change. The squid's tissues accumulate high levels of toxins from polluted waters, making it a valuable indicator of deep sea pollution. Furthermore, strandings of giant squid have been linked to rising temperatures in the deep sea, suggesting that these creatures may be sensitive to changes in their environment, potentially offering clues about the broader effects of climate change on marine life. The giant squid, once the stuff of legends, remains one of the ocean's greatest mysteries. While science has unveiled parts of its story, Architeuthis ducks still lurks in the deep, guarding its secrets. 
Whether as a terrifying kraken or an incredible marvel, this creature continues to captivate and inspire awe. If you're fascinated by the mysteries of the ocean and want to stay updated on the latest discoveries, don't miss out. Like, share, and subscribe to join us on more deep dives into the ocean's hidden wonders. Your next adventure into the unknown is just a click away.